How you doing, folks? Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh my God, like, I was so shocked today when I saw, you know, all the trending news or whatever that was going on about Takashi 69. Now, Takashi 69 is a music hip hop artist. He's from out of New York. Um, last time I looked at his Instagram, I, I remember him calling himself like the king of New York. I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm like, this guy has it. You know, he has it because I like Takashi 69 because he had a different style. You know what I'm saying? I like him because he, he he came out with his rainbow style. It was like his hair was different colors and all that. I'm like, man, he's creative. He, he's a really creative guy. You know, and I went to the Art Institute of Atlanta and I was a music artist as well. You know, so I kind of understand, you know, where he's coming from. Even though his music like promoted a lot of violence. You know, I looked at Takashi as somebody who, you know, he's just, he's just like, you know, simply just making music about, you know, where he came from. You know, and it might have been a, you know, a negative position of where he came from, but that doesn't mean he probably still is that same negative guy. You know what I'm saying? But, oh man, it, it's, it just, it's really shocking. It's really mind blowing to know that the feds, the fed, federal agents, the FBI, like just indicted this guy on racketeering charges and some, some other charges or whatever that, that amounted up like, you know, some shooting cases or whatever that he got I don't know man it's just a lot of stuff I saw on the internet that they are trying to charge him for but uh, like I said I used, I follow Takashi 69 simply because of his style and his his differentness you know I thought that it was really cool to see a guy believe in himself you know even though it, it was different from him with the whole rainbow stuff from all the other artists it was different for him you know what I mean I, and I felt like it took a lot of courageousness to be able to like carry the weight of somebody who just sees themselves different from everybody else. I remember the last little interview I seen of him on the, um, I think it was the breakfast club where he was like, you know what? I don't, I don't care what nobody thinks about me. I'm me. And I just love being me because I'm able to say what I want to say and not have any filter for it. You know, th th I respect that. You know, that's courage. You know, he believes in himself and, and I totally respect that. But, uh, man, Takashi 69 has to be in some really big, big trouble. Now, me, I'm the type of person, man, I'm all about positive energy. I'm all about positive energy. And here on my channel, that's what I talk about. It's positive energy. Now, once again, I used to be a music artist too, you know, so I understand the entertainment business just a little bit. Entertainment is supposed to be entertainment, even though you might come from like the hood or, you know, a negative uh, space in your life or whatever. At the end of the day, it's like, okay, if you make it in, in being an a entertaining artist or whatever, I think that you're supposed to be able to differentiate between the two lifestyles that you once lived versus the lifestyle that you live right now. But I think that Takashi probably took it a little too far. You know, um, there's this law. It's like whatever you put out, that's what you get back. Now, the whole time, you know, I would be watching Takashi 69 on like Instagram or something. Like I'll be saying it in the back of my mind, like while I'm watching his videos or something, <laughs> you know, you know, but at the same time, I'm like, yo, Takashi, oh my God, I wish I could have talked to him like, you know, like one-on-one -on -one and let him know like, look, dude, if you continuously put out this negative energy, even though it's music, the universal law states that whatever you put out is what you get back. I mean, it's a math formula. If you got a negative five plus a negative five, you're going to get a negative 10, folks. I mean, it's, it's, it's science. It's, it's mathematics. It's universal law. You know, and all these people were talking about, oh, you know, well, it's going to come back on them. I feel so. I was just watching TMZ, I think, a couple nights ago where it was like these people on TMZ, they was completely hating on this guy, Takashi 69 Now, me personally, I don't know Takashi 69 personally. I don't think that they knew him personally, but I personally feel like I'm not in a position to judge anybody and I've never judged anybody. I just take the entertainment and the artistry for what it is, because if you're a music artist, that's what makes you different being that you're a music artist. You know, the reason why you will blow up and, you know, you get famous or whatever and everybody starts to like follow you and listen to your music is because you're different from everybody else. That's what makes a music artist a music artist you understand what I'm saying so yeah I, don't, I didn't I didn't think that I didn't think that it was gonna happen I and mean, I didn't think that like he was gonna have any like um 
you know, any feds come after him or anything like this. I didn't think that he was going to, like, fire his whole, like, management crew or anything or cancel his whole American tour. I didn't, I didn't know that he would do this. But, like I said, he, he canceled his whole tour. And that's, like, what happened, what, a couple, a few uh, days ago. And that's when I knew, like, oh, man, like, something's not right with this guy. You know what I'm saying? But... All I have to say, you know, to, to, to young artists out there and young people out there, man, um, if you want to be a music artist or if you want to be successful in life, you know, you got to understand the difference between being a success story versus being a person who, uh, you know, comes from a dark place. And you want to if you want to implement that energy into your music, you got to be willing to face like the consequences that are that are going to come with like putting uh, negative energy back out for people to hear. You understand? Like, when you have fans and stuff that are listening to your music, and if you're promoting, like, a violent message or you're promoting, like, you know, gang violence or shooting and, and stuff like that, man, this is the life that you're going to live. You know what I'm saying? This is the life that you're going to have to take on and you're going to have to deal with. And you're going to attract things and circumstances and situation and even people in your life that condone that same energy you know so i just want to tell like all the aspiring music artists out there and, and all the young people that like look up to takashi 69 you know it's cool to like be somebody that, that loves music that somebody makes that an artist makes but at the same time you got to keep in mind of like you know what this artist may be going through you know takashi 69 was probably going through so much at the time that he probably couldn't handle it and it got to a boiling point where it reached the climax and it just, the volcano just exploded. You know what I'm saying? So many people were just predicting this guy's downfall, man, and just completely judging him. You know, and I think that's simply because of the negative energy or the negative violent uh, lyrics and stuff that he was putting out. It, it, it was just too cutthroat. It was just too cutthroat. And, you know, I think that it could have been avoided. I think that it could have been avoided. If Takashi would have probably been just a little bit more humble with like his actions outside of the music, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I think that he he probably wouldn't be in the situation that he is right now. But um, this is why I say Takashi Six Nine is in in big trouble because um, even though like you might be praying for Takashi Six Nine that he he would be all right at the end of the day. He has a lot of he has a lot of like answering questions to do. Like he has a lot of getting himself out of the situation that he probably put himself in. Because folks, you gotta realize this. You know what you speak into the universe, it comes back to you. Like it, it, it literally comes back on you. You know, so you gotta be you gotta be very wise as to like if you're a music artist, the the thing, the lyrics that you're saying. If you're saying like negative lyrics, uh, uh, talking about people. You know, talking about how you're going to shoot up people and hurt people and, and make people's lives worse than what you think it is or whatever the case may be, folks. That's not good. That, that is just simply not good. You know what I'm saying? And so um, just keep that in mind, folks. All you young people out there, you got to you got to keep that in mind is life is all about positive energy. Life is about spreading love. If you if you give out love, you get love back. If you give respect, you get respect back. You know, if you start opening the doors for people to walk into like stores or, you know, open the doors for, for your girlfriend to get in the car, you, you're going to have those same things happen to you. You know, you get back a reflection of what you put out into the universe. OK, so all you Takashi 6 9 fans out there. I'm feeling like you. I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised. But when I saw the word feds, you know, has indicted him, it just really blew my mind. I was like, yo, he, he's in some really big, big trouble, man. So um, I pray that Takashi 6 9 is able to overcome this situation because I believe in possibilities and I believe that anything is possible. But, um, you know, Takashi 6 9 man... <sighs> God, you got to understand the laws of the universe, man. You, you cannot put out negative energy and not expect negative energy to come back. So um, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just my input on, you know, realizing what had happened today. It was shocking to me, man. It, it was so shocking to me because, like I said, I always, 
I always be trying to see what this guy's doing on Instagram when he's showing his jewels and he's shining and he's in a rainbow Lamborghinis in Dubai and stuff. <laughs> it was just really fun to watch, man. So, um, like I said, thank y'all for watching this video. I'm Trenton Henderson of the infamous Living Room Network. If you want to watch another video that I've made, just click this video right here. This is another really interesting video. If you want to subscribe, just subscribe. Just hit this little icon up here of me and you will be exposed to a thousand plus videos. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. By the way, speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a nice comment below and let us all know what you think about Takashi 69 being indicted. Oh man, Takashi. Oh man. So y'all speak up, let your voice be heard and let us know what you think. Peace.